And welcome back. Well, the Georgia State Panthers are taking on the Wyoming Cowboys tomorrow afternoon at Arizona Stadium. Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl kicks off at 2.30, but as News 4 Tucson meteorologist Matt Brode finds out, the game has already started in some ways anyway. Matt's live at Hockamy Plaza getting on in on all the pregame action. Matt, how's it going out there? John, it's going well. I can hear you now. You can hear me. I'm not having Panthers stealing my microphones. I got a call from the Simon desk saying you got to go to a quieter spot, but now it's pretty quiet. I think uh, fans and uh, players and the Palm Squad all getting ready for the big game tomorrow. You can see what's left is some uh, golden brown uh, balloons for the old faithful, uh, the Wyoming, who will, as you mentioned, play Georgia State tomorrow. So what does the weather look like? Well, it looks pretty good, but we're going to still stay on the cold side. Tailgate time it looks like 50 degrees. We'll call it mostly cloudy. Cloudy, a little bit cool as well. Kickoffs at uh, 230, 60 degrees, mostly cloudy skies as well. And of course, that just rides us right into New Year's Eve tomorrow night. And we're talking right around midnight hour, midnight, well, mainly clear, a little bit cold, 40. But you know what? 40 now is not so cold. It's, you've been with us for the last uh, several days here. If you weren't maybe vacationing somewhere else, we've been seeing some cold temperatures. Winter really establishing itself over southeastern Arizona. In fact, we were down to 32 this morning in the city, 27 Nogales, 26 Sierra Vista, even 30s up in Phoenix, and 12 above up in Flagstaff, Arizona's high country, where skiing is underway across the Grand Canyon State. 61 today's top temp in the city of Tucson, 63 in Nogales, 49 in Safford, and a live look from our News 4 Tucson HD Skynet camera from uh, Skyline Country Club, where it's 49 degrees, dew points 33, and a gentle wind out of the west at 3 miles per hour. 47 West Siders, East Siders, 54. It's 37, 6,000 feet Mount Lemon, where they're still plowing snow at the summit there at about 9,000 feet. Into the 40s for Sierra Vista, Bisbee. One thing we'll notice tonight, our temperatures not quite as cold as they've been in the last couple of nights, and that is all courtesy of the fact that we're seeing more in the way of cloud cover. Speaking of cloud cover, here's your satellite and radar imagery, and we're seeing plenty of clouds rolling in from the southwest up to the northeast, all courtesy of a little disturbance off the coast of uh, Baja, California, kind of in the middle of Baja Spur in Los Angeles. This area of low pressure is actually digging to the southeast, so on that trajectory, it looks like probably we'll stay dry here for the city of Tucson. Can't rule out about a 10% chance of showers as you make your way into southern sections of Cochise and Santa Cruz County. Here's a look at your future pattern. You see that area of uh, low pressure sliding to the southeast, but a reinforcing shot of some cooler air does uh, move in from the front range of the Rocky Mountains, and that will be with us through the day Thursday, but by Friday being a transition day, Saturday, Sunday looking great. Nice little ridge of high pressure moves on in, and that will finally warm us up uh, for the first time in many days to temperatures above average come the weekend. Here's your forecast and for tonight, again, clouds going to keep us a little bit milder than we've seen in recent nights. Nighttime lows in the upper 30s near 40. Daytime highs tomorrow right around 60. Just a 10% chance of a sprinkle here in the city of Tucson and maybe a 10% chance of three, four, or five sprinkles for Coach East and Santa Cruz County. So really, I think most of us dry, just mostly cloudy. Daytime highs for you into the 50s. Your seven-day forecast then breaks down as such. Tomorrow we'll talk about daytime highs right around 60 degrees. Part to mostly cloudy skies clearing overnight for New Year's Day looking sunny and 60 but cool on Thursday again only upper 50s for nighttime lows 61 Friday and then let's bring on the goodies 70 on Saturday 73 Sunday and Monday abundant sunshine daytime highs into the upper 60s so finally starting to look a little bit more like uh, well an Arizona winter Mr. Dave Kelly I learned a thing or two today they say go pokes for the University of Wyoming maybe you can talk about that you probably have other stuff to talk yeah, about but that's what they say kind of a barrel around his body I wonder if we're going to see him welcome to